Jojo here, the joyous genealogist, and welcome to the channel. All right, today we're going to go over how to index on familysearch.org. This is a hot topic. I get lots of questions about this, so this has been a long time coming. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to index on familysearch.org and some really good tips that are going to help you index faster and smarter. So let's get started. But before we do, remember to like this video and share it if it helps you out, because I know it will help you out. And I know you know somebody that this is going to help out because I know so many people don't know how to index. So you've got to know somebody that this is really going to help them and inspire them, right? All right, so let's get started. So first off, you want to go to familysearch.org. And once you've signed in, go to get involved. Now this used to be um, indexing and indexing tab. Uh, they changed it in March of this year of 2022. So click on that. Come down here and click on indexing. Now, if you're new and you need more help after this tutorial, you could come here and go to indexing help and take the guided tour. And it's a very detailed step-by-step -step way to do indexing. Also, it doesn't go through as much as I'm going to cover here as far as all the, the tools, um, the tips on the tools. But you can come here if you'd like. And then help articles, how to improve your skills on in indexing. Check that out. And then language and handwriting helps. This is super cool too. Remember to check that out. And then community help form. So if you do get stuck and you need help, I promise you there's probably an answer to your question here in the community help forum. All right. So what we're going to do, get started. So what you want to do is you want to find a project. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Your screen looks like this and you're like, what do I do? So click on find a project. And what it's going to do, it's going to have um, difficulty level. So beginning, intermediate, or advanced. And actually, I'm pretty shocked that there's anything in beginning um, right now to do because for months, there hasn't been any beginning projects to do with indexing. So um, there's tons of intermediate and advanced. And they, I mean, some of them can be pretty difficult to read. So I'm going to click on the beginning now. Let's go. So it's going to search, I think. Uh, oh. Sorry, I had to click on that button. All right. All right, so first off and foremost, this is to go back. Okay. This is going to be to check. It's going to do a um, quality check on all the information you've entered. And this would be to submit your batch. Okay. So first off and foremost, you want to um, tell the computer or the system, uh, yes, this needs to be indexed. And obviously, it's pretty, looks like a really nice document. It's in good shape and it can be indexed. So we want to click next. There's only one image. So we only need to review one. Sometimes there can be 20, 30. I mean, that's a lot, but there can be multiple. So, um, so right now, what we have is this. Now, I want to show you how to use this toolbar here. Um, oh, if you go here first, let me, sorry, sorry. Go to form entry. This is actually what your screen's probably going to look like when you start. And your form is going to be over here on your left-hand side. So if you want to switch sides, you could go to these little three dots right here. Make sure I'm not going too fast for you. And then click move form to the right. And so that's all you would have to do. And then just move back to the left. Okay. And then also, if you want to hide any of the fields, now if there's an asterisk next to the, um, the field, that means it's required. So if all of these, which it does look like all of them are required, you cannot remove them. But if you're doing a document where there's like just a bunch of fields that you don't need to fill out. There's no information for it's so much easier than press than putting in um, blank form um, just to remove the the fields. OK, so you would click on this and then you could click on whatever eyeballs <laughs> you want to remove from the form and then save. OK, and then here, I'll just show you how to do this. So let's just remove a couple and then I'm going to click save. And you're like, oh, no, I shouldn't have removed that. What you can do is you can come back up here and you can go back to show and hide fields. 
and then just click back on the eyeballs and then hit save and that's it okay and you can also reset field order so i want to show you what you can do here if you want to move um some of these around so it's going to show these little arrows or a cross basically with arrows on the end you can just right or i'm sorry left click your mouse and you can move that anywhere um on the form okay All right or if you want to just reset the field order okay that's how you do that and then also right here it's going to give you information like okay where is the certificate record number and it's like it says it's often indicated the beginning of the entry do not include zeros written at the beginning of a number for example 023 would be typed as 23 do not index the page number as a certificate or record number if the record number was not numbered press control b to mark the spilled blank and that's what i was saying you would have to like if you had a bunch of fields that were like that were just blank it's easier just to remove them instead of going through and hitting control b because i've had that happen before all right so i hope you like those tips and then what you want to do here so the data entry um so he, right here too this is how let me yes just come back here this is how you can do a quality check submit your batch return batch and back to web indexing so that's just kind of how to do the things with the batch okay so back to data entry now i want to change my table my form into a table entry you could do it a row entry or a column entry and i love the table entry so basically that's just going to bring it right here above the screen here um, or above the document and you can adjust this to whatever width you want if you need to add more entries you'll this will give you more room to do that and see all those and then if you want to you can also move it to the bottom the same way you would if it was on the left or the right okay and this can really help you if you're following along um, on this form and you could just literally go like this and follow along so you don't lose your spot but i want to show you something else that's really cool and helpful too so um if you go to data entry also there is a show toolbar or show ruler and i want to show you how to use the ruler so data entry show ruler and this is going to highlight wherever you're at so if i'm typing in the date i don't have to try to find my place on the form where i was at where the date was at so this is going to be such a time saver and help you work faster and smarter right okay and then show toolbar so that's the whoops that's the toolbar right there boop which you want to leave open obviously and then reference images this is if you had like multiple images on this page you could it would show everything up on your screen but it would be like really small so you you know not necessarily need to use that all the time all right and then this would be for um copying entries okay and you could use your control shift plus key if you have a windows and this would be to delete entries so say for instance instance and i'm going to move this up to the top say for instance you had um prefixes these were all like females here you could literally put miss misses misses there and then you could um do this one right here copy text from the selected field into um oops all the following matching fields and so you could just hit this and it would copy all the way down okay um this one would copy text from the previous entry into the selected entry okay 
And this one's from the same field. It copies the text from the same field on the previous entry into the selected. Or you can do control D, okay? All right. And then this is for like your handwriting tool. This is going to show you different handwriting examples that can help you distinguish like what the letter is. Like look at the different formats for Z and Y. Okay, so remember to use this. Um, you don't have to go back to that one tab that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, and then this one is, uh, right here, come on, open up. This is your instructions, okay? So if you have questions like project description, what to index, what to remember about this project, this is going to help you within the project, okay? And then remember community help is right here, okay? You can always come here and ask questions. Look up what you are, um, don't know uh so you do have to make a, you have to register for, to use that okay and then if you want to share your feedback that's what that's for too all right so let's get started i hope i can remember to cover everything in here because there's different scenarios that you're going to run into along the way that i'm sure i'm not going to be able to cover okay so certificate number um, record number, let's see. So here is the record number right there. So it's 1453. Okay. And then, okay, so spouses, let's click on this. Well, it doesn't say Miss or Mr. So we're just going to hit, we could remove this, which I think I will. Wait, I can't because it has an asterisk. Um, I don't see that in here anywhere. So control B would leave it blank. And then first spouse's given name. All right, so let's take our little ruler. Okay, so let's look at this document before I get started and just kind of read James Franklin and Joe and Joanne Pierce. That's kind of weird how that's spelled. I've never seen it spelled that way. Okay, and then there's the date. Okay, there's certified witnesses. This is the piece. Record. Okay, so there's like no parents on here. Okay, so first spouse is given names. So we were going to put him first. So let's do this. Let's see how it just stuck on there. That's so nice. And you're going to put Franklin in there. And then Stevenson. Make sure I spelled everything correctly. And he is a male. Now, let's see if we have the date or like their age. I don't think I've seen that in here. Nope. Okay. So control B. Uh, there's no birth year, birth year either. And then on this. All right. And then the second spouse's given name is Joanne. Okay, so let's do this. Now, it says to never, like, auto-correct the spelling or anything like that when you're indexing, so make sure you don't um, correct that. All right. And then her surname is Pierce. Female. 
There's no age, so control B, control B, and then the marriage day. So let's scroll down. Till August, 12th day of November, 12th day of November. Okay. So 12th. Down. Month November nineteen eighty six. All eighties. Okay, and that's it. All right. So what you could have done here, or I could have done here, is delete this entire entry. So. What I would do, so delete the current entry number two, or we could just do all blank entries. There we go. Okay. All right. So there we go. Everything looks good. Now, all we need to do is submit it. Whoops. Hold on. We want to check and make sure it's quality. No issues found. Submit batch. And we got some <laughs> confetti. And that's it, you guys. That is it. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see if I need to do a video on that for you. Or if it's a quick, easy um, answer, then I'll answer it in the comment section. So. Remember to um, share with me if you have anything you're working on that you need help with. And I would love to do a tutorial that would help you out if need be. So I would love to do some lives and get that going too. If I get some more feedback from you, my email address is in the description. And um, if you would like to learn more about how to use family search, check out my latest video that is on how to use the family history guide. It will teach you on how to use all the partner sites that um, are linked with familysearch.org. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. Remember to like, and I know you can share this with somebody that this is going to help, um, that this will help. So until next time, you guys stay blessed and stay safe and be good. All right. Bye.